Hello ladies, it's Rasheen Johnson from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania with another one of my delicious recipes. This time ladies, I'm back at you with my cheesy bread. That's right ladies, cheesy bread. I love garlic bread and this is just my spin on traditional garlic bread. So what we want to do is in a bowl, a medium sized bowl, we want to incorporate one 8 ounce package of Philadelphia brand cream cheese. I tend to be partial to a third less the fat, but you can use the original. It's alright. We want to incorporate our minced garlic, Italian herbs and seasonings, oregano, and just a few more spices such as our basil, and a little thyme. I just add a little thyme for flavor. We want to take a 12 inch whole wheat roll and split it in half lengthwise. We want to slice it all the way down the center and get it open nicely. Separate it. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to take our cream cheese mixture, which we did use an 8 ounce package of Philadelphia brand cream cheese, 3 to 4 ounces of sour cream in addition to our garlic and spices. And what we want to do is we want to coat our rolls very nicely on the open face side. I use a spatula so that I can get it evenly distributed because as it's baking, we won't have it bubble over and it'll just bake up nice and crispy. Mm, don't be afraid, ladies, to put that cream cheese blend on there. When I tell you that this cheesy bread is absolutely heavenly, it is toe curling good. It is so good, it will have your eyes rolled up to the back of your head like the slot machine digits. Ladies, this bread is off the hook. So now what we want to do is we want to get both sides evenly coated because we're preparing our foundation for our cheeses. Because what is cheesy bread without cheese? Toast. <laughs> Just toast. So since we're not making toast today, ladies, we're making my cheesy bread. Now that we've coated our rolls, what we want to do is sprinkle liberally some shredded Parmesan cheese right on top of that cream cheese sour cream mixture compound. Mm, 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 mm. I know this sounds like it's loaded with calories, but ladies, please believe me, it's not, and it's extremely good. So we're going to evenly distribute that shredded Parmesan down both sides of the roll. You use both halves of the rolls. And we're going to put the cheese on nice and even being taking special care to cover every inch of our bread. We don't want to leave one part naked. We have to dress it up nice, ladies. So now, once we get the Parmesan cheese put on to each side of the roll evenly, guess what we're going to do? Bring in some Kraft Four Cheese Mexican Blend with that mm, mm, good Asiedro cheese. My goodness gracious, look at that, ladies. And we just want to lace it up just so. We want to take our time to be ever so careful and just dress those rolls up nice. See, these rolls are like we're getting ready for a Sunday morning service, and the cheese is our pearls, and we don't want to leave one pearl behind. Okay, ladies, so now we have one roll nice and prepared with that four cheese Mexican blend. We're going to do the other roll as we prepare to get it in the oven and we do have our oven preheated to 350 degrees ladies and the bake time on this is not that long because you can kind of eyeball it because once the cheese has fully melted and it comes to a nice light golden brown crisp then it's ready to come out so what we're going to do on top of that four cheese mexican blend we're going to apply some craft grated parmesan romano cheese and some parsley flakes. We're going to apply that liberally. And you can do it as to taste. I love parsley because parsley tends to clean your palate really nicely from all of that garlic. But it is optional. So if you don't like it, you don't have to use it. But I'd like you to try this. Because once you try it, you're going to be hooked. And you're going to want more and more and more. And your family is going to go bananas over this cheesy bread. So what we're going to do is shake our parsley on just liberally, just so on both sides of the roll and we're going to use just a hint of oregano on top of the roll yes and then we're going to sprinkle some of that grated parmesan romano cheese on there and we want to garnish it up just nicely we have our cheesy bread with our philadelphia cream cheese the third less of that baby Mm. I love, love, love. I love the flavor of this bread. Mm. Absolutely delicious. 
lip smacking good.